Steph and I were here for 15 years, for 15 years of that run. And I think what is so impressive and awesome about that number is the context within which she did it. I don't know now at UL, you know, people, people think we have it made and things are better and et cetera, et cetera, but you go back 15 years ago and I, Steph and I were sitting in Coach Robichaud's office. He had a restricted, his assistant coach was on restricted earnings. Our president had just cut uh, spring sports budgets to zero. That's crazy that you, that you sit here today and the guy has, he has a, th he has a thousand wins. And to be, to, in my judgment, to be able to do it in the context with which he's done it makes it like more impressive. It makes it almost phenomenal. And you know how many hats that he has to wear, fundraising, uh, to Tony, was one of the first people to start grade checks, study hall. Those were things that, that you do outside the context of just coaching your team. Field maintenance, the fundraising, building the fan base. That's crazy, really, Tony that if you really think about what you've done and the context with which, which you did it, it's phenomenal. And you could, you could stand and say, the players win the games, the players didn't fundraise, the players didn't do the study hall, the players didn't build that fan base, the players didn't raise that money to put that pavilion out there. The players didn't stay there till 10, 11, 12 o'clock at night, pouring your heart and soul into that program. The players didn't take their credit cards out of their pocket to buy equipment. Players didn't put on camps to pay their assistance. The context within which, within which that man has accomplished that number is phenomenal. It's phenomenal. And today in 2015, as you sit here, and we all have short memories, and you say, a couple of years ago, everybody was talking about how the game had passed him by. To me, being a part of this department and being able to interact with him weekly, being able to be around him, being able to watch him from a very good vantage point of how he does his business, we're blessed. We're so blessed in this university and we're so blessed in this community to have Tony Robichaud a part of, of us. I can guarantee you this, he's made me better. Made me a better person, made me a better coach. He's, he's made me more thoughtful. The impact that Tony has had on this department, on this community, on that raging, changing brand is crazy good. There's, I can't, I, you can't overstate his impact. And yes, it's just a number. It's just a number. But all that other stuff that I'm talking about is way beyond numbers. 
Secondly, how he's done it. Not just the context, but how you win matters. And Coach Robichaud has set a standard that is beyond reproach. And the way that they have discipline in his program, the way that his, that his kids come in here and they grow and they mature and they learn life lessons, the way that he really is an educator. He's an educator about life and he takes these, these, these young boys and he makes them good, productive members of our community. He makes us all proud to be Raging Cajuns. And if, if, you, never, if you never win another game, I know I, we just came out of, of, a, of a war this weekend. And during the context of those games, you, you make literally hundreds to maybe thousands of decisions in a weekend. Who to start, what pitch to call, who to walk, where to move a fielder, what to do here, where to do that, where to go here. I mean, you, you're making literally thousands of decisions each weekend. When you win a thousand games, that's a lot of right decisions. A lot of right decisions have been made to put your team in a position to be that successful. I think I think it's a it's a it's a ma it's a milestone that of course there's only seventeen other active coaches have achieved it. But to me it 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 finally like hopefully shines a light on a man and, and a way of doing business and a way, of you live, a way of living your life that makes us all proud. So <laughs> that's crazy. If it be 999, it's the same thing. If it's 901, it's the same thing. If he never wins another game, if it's 1,002, it doesn't change. I, I appreciate what Tony Robichaud has accomplished at this university and with that program because it's impacted me personally and made me better, but it's made this community better. 15 years, I've been on the journey. He's been on it. 27. I've watched him for 15 years, and Coach, you have my deepest, my deepest respect. And I think it's, I think it's just fair that I know you're not going to ever give it context, but I know you've lived it, and wow. Really, wow. Wow that you did it right, my friend. You did it right, and you did it with class, and you made us all better. And you should be proud, my friend. And celebrate, baby. Celebrate a good man who's done so, so much good for so many years. I'll never get to a thousand, Tony. <laughs> I can't. I can't. I mean, you can't do it. You can't do it. You can't have that. <laughs> you can't have that kind of longevity and that consistency and and the fact that you've done it, and the way that you've done it is crazy good, crazy, crazy, crazy good. I mean, I could I could go on for for another thirty minutes. I mean, you can't minimize this story. I mean, and. You really, you really, if, if today we would get more productivity out of practice, if, if he said, bring the kids over for an hour and I want to talk to them, 
that would that would impact our girls and our practice and preparedness for this weekend more than going out and hitting balls. 